Hey there, YouTube. It's us, Sticky Fingers, 745, and we have the MRE wife. And today we have a Canadian IMP from 2013. Now this is scalloped potatoes and ham, uh, menu number five. Uh, have you ever tried one? No, I've only tried the U.S. rations, so this will be new for me. All right, so yeah, let's uh, get right to it and try it out. All right, let's take a close look. Like I mentioned earlier, this is uh, from 2013. Uh, they have three years shelf life. This, of course, is a military ration and it's not intended for resale. We've got some kind of web link on the back. Go ahead and type that up if you must. I think it's cool, like a little lunch bag, lunch sack. It takes you back to elementary school. It's like a little doggy bag lunch <laughs> thing. It's pretty interesting. What do you think about it so far? <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. I think we should open up and see what's inside. All right. All right, I guess let's uh, open her up. I uh, think I'm gonna have you do it. All right, let's open it. All right, first we got the scalloped potatoes and ham. Yeah, let's, uh, let's show them the ingredients and nutrition facts. This one has a date code of, uh, of the end of 2012, so still pretty good. What else? That's cool that they're marked the same as the US MREs with the date codes. Next we have... We've got a Nescafe 3-in-1. I believe this is coffee, sugar, and creamer in this packet, so it's pretty cool. Alright, next we have tortillas. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we've got tortillas. Pretty much the same as the American tortillas made by the Warnick company. So, a lot of people are familiar with these. I'm pretty sure you've had these uh, <laughs> yeah. tortillas before. Alright, what else do we have? Let's see what else. We have hot chocolate. Alright. Perfect for that cold uh, morning when you're having this breakfast. Yep. Here it is. Some French too, chocolate. All right, very cool. What else? Next is all the beverage bag. We've got a Canadian beverage bag. These are very nice because you can stand them up. Unlike the American ones, which, you know, they just tip over. Easy. I think it's cool that they have the Canadian leaf on it. All right, what else? Pull something up. Another box. Blueberry applesauce. All right, we've got a dessert, I guess. A fruit snack. Here are the ingredients. And the nutrition facts. This is made in 2012, the 166th day. So it's a, it's a little bit older than the main entree or main meal. Uh, all right. Well, Let's see what else. Um, crunchy cereal. All right, we've got crunchy cereal. Perfect for that breakfast. You can add hot or cold water to taste. Very nice. And again, ingredients and nutritional facts all right I just noticed everything has the Canadian flag on it uh, the Canadians are very proud of <laughs> people peach sports drink all right we've got a uh, peach sports drink uh, there should be another one in there yeah it's peach too yeah you get usually with the Canadian ones you get two of the same sports drink I'm not sure why it would have been really nice to have two different ones instead of just one this is really interesting to me. I've had a lot of MREs and I've never had a peach 
sports uh, drink. It's, it's usually it's, lemon or lime or fruit. It's usually some kind of color like green or <laughs> blue. Or usually it, like Gatorade flavors. Yeah, like green, blue. <laughs> you know. <it's laughs> All right, next we have strawberry jam. So we have yeah, strawberry jam, ketchup, peanut butter, yep. and hot sauce. Yeah, we get hot sauce for your uh, for your breakfast. I'm used to seeing the hot sauce. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty much Tabasco sauce. I've never seen ketchup in every any of the uh, U.S. Emery. What else? The big flat napkin. I'm used to seeing toilet paper, so that's new to me. A long white spoon. And you get the long spoon to reach in the pouch. We've got a wet nap. Toothpick. Get a toothpick. The classic Emery gum. Get your chiclets. Uh, peppermint. And matches. Canadian matches. All right, there you have it. The Canadian IMP from 2013, scalloped potatoes and ham. What do you think about it? Well, me being a person that's had a lot of US MREs, I think the packages look the same and the bag type things, they're the same, just different color. Um, it is new for me to see peppermint, the three-in-1 coffee, and ketchup. I don't think I've ever seen ketchup in a regular MRE, US MRE. And the uh, toothpick. Oh yeah, the toothpick too. <laughs> and the crunchy cereal. The crunchy cereal sounds interesting. I don't know if it's oatmeal or a crunchy cereal, so <laughs> I'm interested to see what crunchy cereal is. Well, I mean, it's a nice touch to have the toothpick. I think it's really nice to have all these extra sides, like the crunchy cereal and, you know, extra accessories or condiments like the peanut butter. And the two sports jam. drinks, too. I think usually in the MREs it comes with yeah, you, one. I mean, sometimes, you you know, you get... The cappuccino or yeah, the mocha, you, yeah. Yeah, you get that and a drink. But this one comes with hot chocolate and two sports drinks, so that's cool. The Canadian rations kind of make you feel like you're getting a lot of stuff, you know? <laughs> yeah. And it usually is a lot of stuff. Uh, it's mostly preparing. The only downside, you don't get a flameless ration heater like the American one, so... Oh yeah, I just noticed that. This stuff, you have to boil it somewhere, you know, you have to put it in hot water or uh, just eat it cold. You have to have a lot of water for the crunchy cereal, the drinks. It's a lot of water you have to carry. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he said, let's uh, let's start preparing it. Let's try it out. All right, like always, let's get the drink started. We'll start with the uh, Nescafe 3-in-1, which is coffee, creamer, and sugar, which is uh, very nice. Let's uh, get her open. I don't know if you can see that. See the coffee and the creamer combined. All right, let's uh, pour it and mix it. There we go. Yeah, this calls for about eight ounces of hot water. I think that's cool that it has Coffee, creamer, and sugar all in one. You don't have to open a bunch of packets. Yeah, I agree with that. It's just one packet. Yeah, I completely agree with that. Looks like coffee. <laughs> yeah, it smells like coffee. It smells like coffee. Yeah. All right, up next we have the hot chocolate, or as we say in America, hot cocoa. Yep, right? hot cocoa. <laughs> All right, let's uh, open it up. Right, there it is. I get that chocolatey smell right away. You smell that? Mm -hmm. It's like pretty good hot chocolate. So let's, uh, let's mix it up. Let's give it a stir. This one doesn't mix as easy as the coffee. Yeah, this one's a little bit clumpy. Alright, let's check it out. There it is. 
Yeah, it smells like hot chocolate. Yeah, basic hot chocolate. Not too bad. All right, up next is the peach sports drink. This is the one I'm excited for. I don't think you're gonna like it, so. Open it up. It's just a white powder. Got no real color to it, it just looks white. Give it a mix. This one makes pretty easy. It's, pretty it's already dissolved. There it is. Yes. I smell very strong peach. <laughs> it smells like artificial peach. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's check out what's in the boxes. Got the blueberry applesauce. I'm open it up. Let's open it. Wow, it's a totally different package. Yeah, these are uh, these are silver. Yeah, these are silver, unlike the green uh, American MRE pouches. All right, so pour so, some here. Actually, I'll fit some. All right, there's the blueberry applesauce. Uh, looks like blueberry applesauce. I don't know what else to describe <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, uh, the apples. The applesauce smell is uh, more predominant than the blueberry smell. You can still kind of smell it. You know? Yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's open up the scalloped potatoes. Another silver package. These are always silver. All right, so what we'll do, we'll, we'll heat it up in some boiling water and uh, we'll try out the cereal. All right. And we'll dump the tortillas in there too to... To warm them up so they don't crack. Yeah, so they don't break apart. All right, here we have the crunchy cereal. We're gonna add hot water. Kind of like oatmeal, I guess. I picture it as oatmeal, so... I mean, you can tell that it looks like, uh, kind of like oatmeal. It looks more chunky than oatmeal. It's uh, rolled oats. It smells like oatmeal. Alright, so I got 10 ounces of hot water. Let's see how much. It all depends what, you know, what consistency you want. I might have poured too much. I think that's a pretty good amount. Most of it will get absorbed by the, the oatmeal or the rolled oats. So you have to let it sit. There they are. And uh, yeah, it's milky. I don't know, I was expecting something different from <laughs> crunchy cereal oatmeal. Yeah, it uh, looks like oatmeal. Uh, I'm sure if you don't eat it right away, you'll lose that crunch, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, while we wait for the scalloped potatoes and ham and tortillas, let's, let's try some of this stuff. You want to try the crunchy cereal? <laughs> <laughs> Here, let me try it. It has a very powder, milky kind of taste, I think. I don't know. I don't know how to explain that taste. I mean, it's definitely, you know, crunchy. You get that milky, you know, powder milk taste, you know. Kind of like a butter cookie. Yeah, kind of like a butter cookie, maybe. Yeah, it's nice and milky. I No complaints on my, That's good. my part. You know, can't complain about that. All right, let's try the blueberry applesauce. Looks very blue. <laughs> Looks more red. 
it's kind of bluish reddish me being a person that doesn't really like apple sauce it's all right <laughs> <laughs> yeah it tastes like blueberries and, and apple sauce that's all i can say about it yeah let's taste the nescafe uh three and one three and one There it is again. It's not bad. I like more sugar in my coffee, but I mean, <laughs> for a little packet, it does the job. Yeah, I, I think the, the amount of sugar and cream is, is perfect. Uh, no complaints on my end. <laughs> I guess you like it really sweet. Yeah. All right, here we have the scalloped potatoes and ham. That's incredibly hot, so let's open it up. Now I gotta say while you open that, I think me being at home, you know, it's not a big deal to boil a pot of water, but if I was out in the field, I would really appreciate a flameless ration heater when it comes to these meals, so. Yeah, it wouldn't hurt to have a, a flame. I think that's a downside of these. Yeah, that would have been definitely a plus. Well, there you have it. Uh, see the potatoes and and ham they're swimming in some kind of gravy <laughs> yeah, it smells pretty good it smells kind of cheesy yeah it smells pretty good uh, let's pour it there's nice chunks of ham and potato that i see yeah that looks really good very interesting let's taste it just be careful, it's really hot. It is really salty. There it is, you can see the ham and potatoes. All right, that's, um, I think that's really good. It's got some kind of creamy flavor to it. The ham is really good. The potatoes are very soft, very uh, palatable. I mean, it was good. I just think it's a little bit too salty for me. All right, so we heated these to soften them up, make sure they don't break apart. All right. Yeah, they're nice and uh, pliable. They're not breaking into pieces. That's what happens if you eat them cold. Yeah. They look really nice. So let's, uh, let's make a scallop potatoes and ham taco, I guess. <laughs> I think the tortilla really helps. It does kind of mellow out the strong ham flavor. It makes it a little bit better. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely goes with it. I can give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up for that. It's really good. Let's try the hot chocolate now. All right, let's do it. There it is. It's not bad. It's a uh, really sweet. Uh, it's a nice boost of energy. I would say it's really good. Yeah, it's really good. All right, let's try the peach sports drink. I'm interested to see how this one tastes. I've never had peach sports drink, so. It kind of looks like, I would say tang or yeah. uh, some kind of mango uh, instant drink, but let's try it. Yeah. Yeah, it's not too sweet. Yeah, it's not too sweet. It's uh, it's got a good amount of sugar, not too much. It's pretty good. It tastes peachy, um, pretty much like peach Kool-Aid. I think that's my favorite out of all three drinks. I think the peach was my favorite. Yeah. All right, we also have peanut butter and strawberry jam. All right, so usually in a USMRE, you get a wheat snack bread that you can put it on. But in this case, we're going to use the other tortilla and make a peanut butter and jelly tortilla, tortilla. roll. All right, let's get the strawberry jam on there. Very nice consistency. We got the peanut 
peanut butter. It's obviously smooth, not chunky. All right, let's uh, let's roll it into taco or burrito. Mm. There you go. All right, so we have a peanut butter and jelly taco or burrito. Tortilla roll. Tortilla roll, whatever you want to call it. So let's uh, let's try it. Let's try it. All right, that's that's very decent. I like that. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a peanut butter and jelly roll. Yep, pretty good. Pretty good. I like that. <laughs> All right, we've got ketchup and hot sauce. Let's try the potatoes and ham with both of these. Half and half. All right, looks like Tabasco. Pretty much Tabasco sauce. Right, let's try it with the hot sauce. I thought the hot sauce would be red, but it's actually a little bit green. Yeah, the hot sauce looks a little bit green. That's a little bit of kick to it. Yeah, I think that makes it a lot better. Let's try with the ketchup. They're both good. I think the hot sauce is my choice. I think both ways are pretty decent. Um, ketchup gives it an interesting flavor, so as the hot sauce gets a little kick. Yeah, both aren't bad at all. They're pretty good. Yeah, they're pretty good. All right, there you have it, a Canadian breakfast menu. Menu number five, scalloped potatoes and ham. Very good ration, I would say. The crunchy cereal was really milky, really sweet. Really enjoyed it. The scalloped potatoes with the hot sauce was awesome. The extra kick was really good. The tortillas really goes well with that. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, I was pretty surprised that the tortillas went so well. The blueberry and applesauce was really good. Just, uh, you know. Applesauce. Applesauce much. and yeah, it's got a hint of blueberries. The peanut butter and jelly tortilla roll turned out to be pretty good. I was pretty surprised how good it went together. Yeah, that, that goes really well. You don't you don't need bread. You can just use a tortilla. It still works. It's still really good. Yeah. As far as the drinks go, I, I really enjoyed the three-in-one coffee. The peach was new to me, so I really liked that. And the hot chocolate was, I would say, was really good. It, yeah, I mean, it's hot chocolate. Yeah, overall, this ration was excellent. Uh, Two thumbs up. Thumbs up. Like always, I want to thank you guys for watching and, and subscribing. And See you soon. Like always, see you soon. sauce. That looks gross. <laughs> Peanut butter and jelly taco or what?